So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's that time of the year, midterms are just around the corner. So basically during this time when I'm busy with work and exams, and when it comes to my kitchen, I really love simple and easy. Look at all of these beautiful colors, the colors of nature. This is beautiful. The yellows, the greens, you know, it's really cool. The reds, obviously. I want to show y'all how I prepare one of my favorite dishes, and it is guacamole. Cha da! So let's just get started. All you're gonna need for this delicious recipe is two avos. Yes, honey. Yes. Okay, maybe that didn't look very appropriate, but anywho, it's guacamole, guys. Don't get all dirty-minded and stuff. You're gonna need one lemon. A lot of people prefer doing it with lime. To be honest, I also prefer lime, but I just had lemon and I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna stop myself from having guacamole because I don't have lime. It actually tastes a bit tiny better, but you know, for me, it's all the same, to be honest, whatever. You're gonna need an onion, some pepper, salt, cilantro, some cherry tomatoes, and you're gonna need some garlic. It's up to you to decide how much you're gonna put in there. The taste is very personal. I always say that when it comes to the kitchen, you have to be creative and you have to make it your own taste. When it comes to this type of dishes, I am pro. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna need. I'm just gonna taste it afterwards. And if I need to add a little bit of salt or a little bit of pepper, you know, I'll do it. It's not a one-way road honey we got options one little twist to this recipe is going to be my olives this jar is actually on its last days so I thought let me just put it to use and I mean I've done it before I love olives so it's gonna be absolutely fabulous guys you need to be creative again there's no one-way road when it comes to the kitchen if there was we wouldn't have no Jamie Oliver's I'm just saying honey just saying get a really nice sharp knife now we're gonna cut our avocados. Be careful not to cut yourselves. Just them. Make sure they're really ripe. This is so messy here. Now we're going to mash our avocado. You can use a fork. I personally like it with a little bit of consistency, a bit thicker. This is such a wonderful, tasty, and simple, nutritious recipe to make. I'm kind of happy with this paste. Da, 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 so now you cut your onions like so. Careful not to cut yourselves. I like cutting my onions really thin. Take some of it, you place it there. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be using a lot of this. I think this should be enough. Cut that garlic really, really thin. We use some cilantro. Oh my gosh, I love cilantro. Ah, smells so good. Smells divine. Nature's beauty. Da, da, da. This is going to be so delicious, guys. I can smell fabulousness right here, right now. Guys, don't forget to wash your cilantro. Some packagings tell you they've washed three times and whatnot. I never trust. No one is gonna wash your veggies better than you, so always wash your veggies. Cut your cilantro really thin and oh, look how cool it's looking. Okay, so let's cut our tomatoes, our cherry tomatoes. I was watching this cook the other day and she was saying she doesn't like tomatoes in her guacamole because they can be messy and they have a lot of water and she doesn't like to see that mixed with all the other ingredients. Touche. However, I love tomatoes. I'm always gonna use tomatoes in my guacamole. So it's up to you. I mean, my guacamole with no tomatoes would look sad. This red makes all the difference. And the taste, honey, it does make a lot of difference for me, you know? 
my mom, every time she saw me with a knife, she would get extremely terrified because she says I have a funny way of cutting things that is extremely dangerous and she would get extremely anxious. We're gonna cut our lemon or lime if you're using lime. <laughs> You squeeze your lemons like in Africa. The effort way, there's no other way but the Afro way. My olives, baby. Here are my olives. I'm just gonna cut them really small. Just give it a little bit of extra flavor. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I think I'm even gonna add a little bit of lemon there. So for the salt, I literally just go like once and then we add the pepper. Now this is the part where y'all are going to judge me because, <laughs> honey, I put pepper like I ain't got no fam. I'm just saying, okay. Just because we are on YouTube here, I'm not gonna do crazy things because it's embarrassing. Basically, this is how it looks. So now, just going to mix everything together. Oh my God. Let me try this. Madre mija. Mm. To go together with my guacamole. I got these at Farm Boy. They're gluten-free and lightly salted with sea salt. So that is great. And I think they're going to be delicious. In case you're interested, you should totally try this. I wanna try it now, actually. Mmm, mmm, okay. These are delicious. They taste fabulous on their own. Really? Oh. So guys, this is the final product, my guacamole. If you try it out, let me know. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it. Trust me, it's absolutely delicious. Try it out, invite a couple of friends, and show off your most improved <laughs> work of art. It's one of those things that everybody will love, definitely. So enjoy, and do try these wonderful tortillas. They are amazing! Hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see more of my recipes. Ciao, ciao! Mm, enjoy!